Okay, well, I've been following physics professor's thread on his little Slayer exciter circuit, and I've never actually made one myself, so I thought, well, I would make one and see how it goes. It took some time in making a nice neat coil here out of stranded wire, and it didn't work at all. My secondary is 620 turns of 0.3 millimeter copper, and of course the one you see on the inside there, the stranded stuff, is uh, about 1.2 mil altogether, and it would not work with that coil. So I ended up just getting a piece of 0.7, wrapping around a bit of pipe, slipping it over there, and to my surprise, it fired straight up. So the neat coil is no good, the mess works quite fine. It is hungry on the amps, it's not very efficient so I'm not going to bother measuring power in and power out. There's really absolutely nothing in here except um, a whole lot of wasted power being used. So, we'll fire it up. I have it turned up fairly high at the moment and that's to do with this experiment here. And when I say high it's drawing 105 milliamps. The way that I set this up, I dropped the base resistor down to uh, 62 ohms and used a 100k pot and at the moment it's at about 90k to draw that amount of amps. And the further I go down in resistance on the pot, I don't seem to get any more on the output. So uh, where it is is pretty much well the best it is. So, as you can see, it does work as it should. Um, so that's up and running. Now, the other thing I want to have a look at, and to do this experiment, you're just going to need yourself um, a cap, some description, uh, ceramic, that's what I'm using, these are high voltage ceramic ones, these are the pillow caps. You'll need a resistor, 200 ohms or greater, somewhere between 200 and 500 ohms, doesn't really matter, and a couple of neons. You start off with two, three, four, the more you add in series, the higher the voltage you will get from the system. And that's all we are using, no diodes, and we are creating a DC current flow with this setup. The positive out, you'll see I've got um, some small speaker wire here going to the two probes for this meter. Um, and I also have a 100 UF, 100 microfarad cap. I literally the cap hooked up to this meter. And we're going to charge this cap off of this system as well, just so you can see that it is a DC current coming from uh, two globes and resistor. <coughs> and as I was going to say, positive side will be on the side of the cap you have the resistor on. Neon globes, does not matter which way they are around, it'll work either way. Which indicates to me that the globes themselves are not a non-linear um, system in that it doesn't matter which way you have them around the results are still the same, the current will still flow in the direction of the resistor. Now I have a theory as to why this works, but I'm going to see if um, anyone else can nut it out. Uh, the little hint is we're actually using, we've actually got two forms of energy that is being used by our wireless transmission of energy here, one being heat, one being electrical. So like I said, this meter here is set on DC volts and that is hooked across that cap. This meter here is of course an electrolytic cap that we're going to charge up shortly. As I move our neons closer and they start to fire up, you see we start to create a voltage and that voltage is DC. And of course the closer we move our neons to our tower, the 
high that voltage goes until such time as we re reach the best possible distance. And if you start to get too close, the voltage will start to drop right there. So we move it closer, the voltage goes down, goes up, down, to the back. Just on 13 volts, and that is DC that is in that cap. Now what we're going to do now is simply put our positive and negative from this cap onto our electrolytic cap, polarity correct of course, and we will see the electrolytic cap charging up. Now it doesn't charge up very fast, it is a very small cap, so it's just the output is not powerful at all. Nowhere near the input we're actually putting into the system. This is merely to show that we can uh, create a DC current flow without the use of a diode or a non-linear device of some description on the circuit. So that'll be. But anyway, as you can see, we've got 7.47 volts in our electrolytic cap. So uh, that's how we can uh, create a DC current without the use of a diode. Um, now the globes themselves are kind of imitating a non-linear device um, there's a uh, pretty tricky way that it's actually doing it. So uh, I'll let you see if you can work it out and we'll discuss this a little bit more perhaps. <laughs>